My name is Mo Amir, and this is Van Color, British Columbia's bona fide culture and politics TV talk show right here on Check and Check Plus. We're also on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. Belated Merry Christmas and Happy Boxing Day. Tonight, the Coquihalla Highway reopened to commercial traffic this past week after suffering damage in 20 different spots, including multiple collapsed bridges after last month's atmospheric river event. I don't know how they did it, but BC Minister of State for Infrastructure, Bowen Ma, will be here to explain it all to me. But first, the right mayor at the right time during a crisis. He led his city as it was battered with floods as a result of those atmospheric river events last month. He is the mayor of Abbotsford. He is Mayor Henry Braun. Mayor Braun, thanks so much for being here tonight. Oh, thank you, Mo, for the invitation. A pleasure to be with you. First question. I thought it was Abbotsford this whole time, and I think including in that introduction, but apparently I'm wrong. Well, uh, former Mayor Ferguson told me when I became the mayor, he says, you're pronouncing that wrong. It's not <laughs> Abbotsford, which is what I've used for my 68 years that I've, or most of 68 years. It's Abbotsford. I says, okay, I'll try to change. Okay, well, I'm going to try my best to say Abbotsford. <laughs> if I do slip up, you know, uh, shoot me a sign or something. <laughs> no, no worries. Let's go back six weeks ago to the weekend of November 13th, the very first atmospheric river event in a trio of such events. We knew about a week before then that heavy rains were coming. But then on November 13th, we realized that the path of this cloud band, this atmospheric river, was changing course to hit your city of Abbotsford more directly. At what point did you realize that this weather event was going to be very serious? Well, there was a number of things that happened simultaneously. One, I'd never seen rain like this in Abbotsford in my 68 years. I have a farm as well. I When I went down to feed the cows in the morning, my wheelbarrow was completely full of water. I've never seen that much water in my wow. life. So I knew we were in trouble. Then I heard uh, that the dike had breached at Nooksack, and I knew that we were 13 to 14 hours away from receiving that water across the border hmm. uh, at the border crossing with Sumas. So what's going through your mind at that point? Like knowing that you're in the midst of something that will probably be devastating and that ends up being so devastating well i didn't actually realize that at the at in that moment we've had lots of heavy heavy downpours but i didn't appreciate how much rain there was and what i didn't know until after the fact is that the fraser river had risen to a level where we had to close the floodgates to the sumas river to stop the fraser from pouring in from the north end of the sumas uh, prairie so when, once I learned all of that, uh, then I became uh, very nervous, actually. Is there a certain panic? Like, I, I just, I'm trying to get in that emotional state that you were in. No, I wouldn't say panic, but uh, I was at that point in constant communication with our city manager. Uh, we stood up the emergency operations center. Uh, there was a total, just to give you a sense of size, there was 400 people involved, uh, fire, 100 police, and our city staff, we practice for things like this. And mm -hmm. when it came time to mobilize, we were ready to go. But we weren't, even at that point, sure what we we're going to face. I mean, it was dark, and we didn't see the devastation until the morning. Right. Now, there has been some criticism of BC's emergency response system as a whole. A uh, decision 20 years ago downloaded emergency responsibilities from the provinces to municipalities like yours. Having personally navigated the challenges and, and coordinated with the senior levels of government firsthand, what would you change with regard to the distribution of responsibilities between the different levels of government when it comes to emergency situations like this one? Well, I think when, when uh, you have infrastructure that impacts the region or the province, uh, I, I think senior levels of government have to take on a larger role. Uh, I personally think uh, 20 years ago when they made that decision, I didn't even know about it, but you, you just can't have each municipality uh, responding. Now, having said that, what the senior levels of government need is our intel on the ground because we know our communities better than they do. So there has to be uh, maybe a better interface, I would say. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
uh, everything we asked uh, that I asked of the province and the federal government, uh, we received and are still receiving that. Mind you, the bigger asks are in front of us. And, and that's good to know. I, I'm just curious, will you be providing your feedback to create a better system or improve the current system uh, ba based on your experience? Oh, absolutely. And I, I am convinced, uh, based on my conversations uh, with various ministers, that uh, this flood event will be uh, a topic of uh, great discussion and probably debate uh, going forward. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that this, you know, what, what we did in Abbotsford will be used as a model because I think it should be used as a model. Uh, our staff, uh, I mean, I can't, I, I am so proud in the right sense of that word of our staff and how they mobilized and uh, dealt with uh, a situation that is just devastating and has wreaked havoc on our farming community in Sumas Prairie. Mm -hmm. Now, evacuated folks in Abbotsford are returning home to assess the damage to their property and livelihoods in many cases. You've said that one of your fears is that Abbotsford will be forgotten as the new cycle carries on. So what will you be doing to ensure that the people of Abbotsford get the relief and aid that they need for the long-term recovery ahead? Well, in my last uh, update that I did, uh, I, I uh, said, I guarantee, or I forget exactly the words, but I commit to the residents of Abbotsford that I will continue to press this with senior levels of government. Uh, we need financial help uh, for our farming community. And, and within that farming community, it, not everybody is impacted the same way. Mm -hmm. Some farmers lost whole dairy herds. Other farmers who were on higher ground, uh, not so much. So even within the dairy industry, there's different, uh, there's different needs, and that is for poultry, for blueberries, for coal crops, the same way. So it's going to take a couple of months, I think, to get their arms around what is the totality of the devastation in terms of dollar uh, values uh, in our farming community. But I'm also advocating for infrastructure that needs to be upgraded, our dikes, We've known this through various reports long before I ever became the mayor, that our dikes were not up to the standards that have been prescribed by uh, the provincial government. And so we can't do that with property tax money. We need financial help from senior levels of government because local government only collects between eight and 10 cents of every tax dollar that uh, people in BC pay. Well, on that note, Mayor Braun, I admire your leadership. I think the people of Abbotsford are in very good hands. Merry Christmas, happy holidays to you and your family. And you know what? I know you're up at uh, 5 a.m. every morning, but I think you're allowed to sleep in a couple of days uh, before the New Year. So no one's going to ding you for that. Don't worry about it. Okay, well, right back at you. Uh, have a great Christmas and a happy New Year. And I hope 2022 is uh, going to be a little better than 2021 has been. Me too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mo. Folks, that was the mayor of Abbotsford, Mayor Henry Braun. Obviously, the Atmospheric River event was one of the biggest stories, if not the biggest story here in BC, and it was not limited to Abbotsford. The Coquihalla Highway was the site of severe damage, including collapsed bridges due to this weather event, but somewhat miraculously, the highway reopened to commercial traffic this past week. To explain how, BC Minister of State for Infrastructure, Bowen Ma, is up next. I'm Mo Amir. This is Van Culler.